Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Lambert and I've got a family math game for my littles today. Um, this is great for my kinder friends, my first grade friends, um, or anyone who's working on um, making tens. Um, so uh, we're going to play tens go fish today. It's just like the game go fish, um, but instead of making pairs um, of the same card, you're going to be trying to find pairs that equal ten. Okay, so to get started, you're going to need a deck of cards. Um, go through your deck and you're going to get rid of all the jokers, the kings, and the jacks. Okay, um, You're going to keep all the number cards. Um, our ace is going to count as one. And um, you're going to keep the queen and it's going to act as a zero. Okay, um, So then you're going to take all those cards, shuffle them up. Okay, um, you can either play with a partner or play with a small group. So you're going to deal out five cards to each player. Okay, then you're going to put the draw pile in the center where everyone can reach it. Um, and everyone's going to have a look at their cards. Oops, I miscounted. I need one more. Okay. Um, because I'm playing with an invisible partner today, I'm going to flip over my partner's card so that I can see um, what he has. Normally, everyone would keep their cards hidden. Okay. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your hand and you're gonna see, are there any sets of 10 already in your hand? So are there any numbers that when you add them together um, equal 10? So let's see, I have a four, an eight, an ace, which is a one, a 10, and a seven. Now, because we're practicing um, making tens by adding numbers, a 10 all by itself is not going to um, make a 10, because it's just a single card. So I'd need to match it with a zero, or a queen in our case, um, because zero plus 10 equals 10. So there are no pairs already in my hand, so I'm not gonna do anything yet. Let's check my partner's hand. A four, a zero, a nine, another zero, and a three. Okay, so no, no sets of 10. Okay, so now to play the game, you're gonna have to ask your partner if they have a number that would complete one of your sets in your hand. So let's see. Um, okay, so what do I need to turn a seven into a 10? Seven plus what equals 10? Well, seven plus three equals 10. So I'm gonna ask my partner if they have a three, okay? So do you have a three? Okay, if they do have it in their hand, they have to give it to me. So my partner here would give me their three, and now I can say seven plus three equals 10, and I can set it aside in my keep pile. Okay, um, and that would be the end of my turn. Now it would be my partner's turn. So let's say they have a nine and maybe they want to turn that into a 10. Nine plus one equals 10. So they could ask me, do you have a one? And I do, so I'd have to give it to them. So nine plus one equals 10. They could set it aside into their keep pile. Okay, it'd be my turn again. Um, let's say I want to match my eight. So what plus eight equals 10? A two. So I'll ask them, do you have a two? Now, looking at their hand, they do not have a two. So they will tell me to go fish. And so what that means is I'm gonna have to draw a card from the deck. Now, I can check to make sure that it doesn't already make a pair with one of my cards. It was a seven, so it does not. Okay, so play would continue like this. You'd keep going back and forth with your partner. Um, if you get rid of all your cards, but there's still cards in the draw pile, just draw five more and keep going, okay? You're gonna keep going until all the cards um, are gone, and then you're going to count up how many sets of cards you had, how many tens you made, um, to see who the winner is. The one with the most sets of 10 wins our game. Now, you can also um, ask your child to then um, take all their cards and write them out in equations. Um, what different ways did they make 10? Um, and 
you can talk about does seven plus three, is it the same thing as three plus seven? Or are those two different equations? Um, you can, um, you can see if they got all the different ways to make 10, or is there another way that they didn't come up with? Right, there's a bunch of different things, okay? Um, if 10 is too big of a number for your child, maybe they're still working on making fives, um, you can make this game easier. Um, just take out all the numbers higher than five. So you take out the sixes, the sevens, eights, nines, and tens, um, and you play exactly the same way, but instead of, um, finding numbers that make a 10, you'd find numbers that make a five. So if you had a two, you could ask for a three because two plus three equals five. Um, you'd keep the queens in there to act as your zero. Um, if that's too difficult, again, you can take those out. Or you can play this game the traditional way how you'd play go fish and just find matching numbers, right? So a four and a four would make a pair, a two and a two would make a pair if your child is still working on just recognizing numbers. Okay, um, I hope you enjoy this one. It's a classic. Um, so like I said, great for the littles, um, but also sometimes just fun to play even with the older kids. Okay, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time.